It's hard to ignore the recent advancements and widespread adoption of AI in recent years. But what happens when artificial intelligence meets virtual reality? What new possibilities does AI open up for us in the world of VR? And can we leverage some of this AI tech in our Unity XR apps? Today we'll explore some exciting developments and see how Unity Centis can help us create cutting-edge AI-driven VR experiences. Virtual reality is steadily transforming fields such as gaming, entertainment, education, and training. But with the integration of AI, even more possibilities are emerging. Let's explore a few recent examples that showcase what can be achieved through the use of AI in VR. Imagine stepping into a holodeck-type experience, where the environment, scenarios, characters and conversations are generated on the fly. This may not be science fiction for much longer. It's becoming a reality thanks to large language models and generative AI. Take the recent Covert Protocol demo by NVIDIA and InWorld, for example. This demo was presented at GDC 2024. It showcases how AI can generate spontaneous character interactions in real time in response to the player's speech and actions. These interactions include not only AI-generated dialogue, but also corresponding facial animations and body language. The AI system also models each character's emotional state, which influences their responses. Here's a short clip from a video presentation of Covert Protocol on InWorld's YouTube channel. Link in the description. I have some insider information about one of your competitors. I'd love to meet up later and discuss. Hmm, sounds intriguing. But unfortunately, my schedule is quite packed with conference events. Maybe we can discuss over dinner. My treat, of course. Voices are synthesized at runtime in the cloud for expressive vocal performances. Covert Protocol is just a first step and one example of how developers can take advantage of hybrid deployments to integrate advanced AI capabilities into their games. Next, I would like to highlight an interesting project called AI for Animation, which is specifically designed for VR. This project harnesses AI to estimate the position and movement of a user's limbs purely from the tracking data received from the VR headset and controllers. By analyzing this data, AI for animation can generate natural-looking, full-body animations for the user's avatar in real time. This results in an avatar that moves in a realistic and convincing manner, despite relying on just three-point tracking. If you want to dig into how AI for animation works, I recommend checking out the project's GitHub page. Link in the description. Lastly, let's take a look at a VR meditation app called Trip. This app guides users through various meditation techniques, including breathing exercises. A standout feature is the visualization of the user's breath, which uses particle effects to reflect the actual breathing pattern. The particles change as the user inhales and exhales. Obviously, there are no breath sensors on commercial VR headsets. So how is this achieved? Well, this is where machine learning comes in. Essentially, a breath detection neural network was developed. During its training, it used the movement of the VR headset as input. The neural network learned to discern which subtle movements corresponded to the user inhaling and exhaling. Crafting such an algorithm manually would have been extremely challenging for a programmer. You may be interested to know that Trip is a Unity app, and their breath detection AI was in fact developed using Unity Centis. The developers of Trip gave a talk about their Centis AI implementation at the Unite 2023 conference, where this current clip is taken from. You can find a link to that talk in the description. This segues neatly into our next topic. What is Unity Centis and how can it be leveraged in VR applications? Unity's documentation defines Centis as a neural network inference library for Unity. Centis enables developers to run neural network models on device directly from within their Unity apps. This greatly simplifies the deployment of AI models across various platforms including VR headsets such as the MetaQuest. Unity has also optimized the performance of their neural inference engine, so models should run significantly faster than they typically would in Python. Moreover, because Centis runs models locally, it offers the added benefit of privacy compared to using online AI services like ChatGPT. So, how can we integrate neural network models into Unity using Centis? Centis supports the importation of AI models in the Onyx format, which stands for Open Neural Network Exchange. 
This open format simplifies using AI models across various platforms by standardizing model representation. It allows for easy transfer and deployment of models without the need for recoding or retraining. AI models originally trained using frameworks like PyTorch or TensorFlow can be converted into the Onyx format. Sentis then facilitates the importation of these Onyx models into Unity. Once imported, Sentis can execute these models directly within your Unity app. As Sentis operates within the Unity environment, it naturally supports Unity's cross-platform functionality, allowing your AI-driven features to perform consistently, whether on PC, mobile, or indeed, VR headsets. So it's certainly possible to build and train your own neural net models using Python libraries such as PyTorch and TensorFlow, but what if you currently lack the skills or resources to do so? Is it possible to get free, pre-trained AI models online? Fortunately, yes. There are several AI model repositories available, the most well-known of which is Hugging Face, but there are also TensorFlow Hub and Onyx Model Zoo, among others. Unity themselves have set up their own page on Hugging Face. Let's take a look at it. You will find it at huggingface.co forward slash unity. Here you can find a list of curated models that have been tested and found to work well in Unity. These models are usually made available as .onyx or .centis files. .centis files are simply the format that Unity Centis converts models into in order to optimize them for use in Unity. Anyway, if you'd like a more detailed rundown of what Centis can do and how to use it in your Unity apps, I suggest watching Unity's presentation from GDC 2024 titled Drive Better Gameplay Experiences on User Devices with AI. You can find a link to it in the description below. As we wrap up this brief primer on Unity Centis, I'm excited to announce an upcoming series exploring the use of Centis in VR apps. I'll be experimenting with AI models from Unity's Hugging Face page in a VR context, likely using my MetaQuest 3. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any episodes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.